Hello, hello everyone, welcome! How is everybody doing? Uh, what is go what is going on already? <laughs> no. Hello, hello Diana, welcome! How are you doing? Tell me everything. While I try to figure out why my game is not showing. You were showing like two seconds ago. Hello, Clarissa. Hello, Sia. Welcome. There you go. How is everybody doing? Oh, shoot. What did I do? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm already scared for today. Doing good. I am glad. That's about to change because. <laughs> Just kidding, but today we are playing this horror game. It's a horror romance game though, so that's better. <laughs> and I decided to play some horror games this month for my favorite uh, holiday, Halloween. And what a better way to, sa to start the month that with trying to survive a serial killer and make him fall in love with us <laughs> to stay alive oh my goodness OBS I hate you alright so I think this game came out yesterday or today I'm not sure <laughs> but basically it's a pretty short uh, visual novel um, I read that they it takes like 40 minutes to get a good ending but it's, it's probably gonna take a while for us or for me <laughs> because I will probably die a lot of times we'll see Let's do it. Oh my god. Why? Oh, this is us. <gasps> so he already kidnapped us. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> We're already in this super creepy room Ugh. at least they gave us some pasta that's pasta right <laughs> I'm suspicious of everything it's also supposed to be fully voiced so that's interesting With a severe headache, you wake up in an unfamiliar place. As you touch the bruise on the back of your head, it seems you were hit by something heavy before you lost conscious consciousness. Of course, we're chained. <laughs> at least we're not in a cage. At the very least. A heavy iron chain tied around your feet. Someone has trapped you here. You try to remember what happened before you lost consciousness, but you can't recall anything. Hello Claire, welcome! How you doing? Let's investigate the surroundings first. Oh, already? <laughs> Can I save? <gasps> Wait, how do I save? Oh shoot. Dang it! Well, let's investigate the door first. Maybe. Wait, skip auto menu. Save. Okay, good to know now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Save. 
save. I'm clicking anything. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. Back to game. We'll see. You pick through the keyhole, but you see nothing outside. I wonder where I am. Where to investigate next? Great! <laughs> the door again? <laughs> Uh, cell phone? Oh, I should have I should have done that earlier. No signal, of course. Typical. It, I might be in a remote place or underground. Where to investigate next? The wall? <gasps> I'm so scared. <laughs> the room is surrounded by- Oh, by the way, let me know about the audio if the music is too loud, too low. The usual. Okay. The room is surrounded by four walls without any windows. It's weirdly cleaned up and no ashes or sand can be seen. Looks like a prison built by a germaphobe. <laughs> Where to investigate next? I don't want to investigate the meal, I'm scared. <laughs> the mattress. This music, though, <laughs> so scared. There's a mattress on the floor. The mattress feels really hard to lie on. Where to investigate next? <sighs> the freaking meal. Near the door, there's a serving of spaghetti with tomato sauce and a bottle of water. Also, a round plastic fork that's completely harmless was th uh, thoughtfully attached. It's still warm. Feels like it was sent here not too long ago. Where to investigate next? Um, can I investigate things twice? Guess not. An investigation. This is so creepy. <laughs> it gives me anxiety. What's the next move? I don't think yelling is going to help anybody. Knock over the meal, oh. I don't think that's a... Um, save. Can I save now? Ugh. Why not? This is going to be so painful without saving. Oh. Okay, never mind. It was because I'm stupid. It was saving on its own. <laughs> Great. Um, sleep? <laughs> Can someone like sleep in a situation like this? Listen. You can't hear any sound other than your own breathing. The soundproofing in this room seems particularly good. Hmm. The true horror is not uh, be able to see the game. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> so true. Listen, yeah. Of course it wouldn't do anything! <laughs> um, should we yell? <sighs> I'm so scared. Like, what if, he, if we yell and he gets angry? But I don't want to sleep, that's for sure. I think... <laughs> How many do we have here? Oh, a lot. Let's go. Come back. I would rather not yell. <laughs> Same. Just because I'm scared. I, I am too. <laughs> really am the type that would just try to sleep in this situation. <gasps> really? Would you be able though? Then let's just sleep. Just scream? <laughs> God. 
Let's try sleeping first. Are you sure? The, the fact that they are asking me if I'm sure, like... <laughs> it gives me even more anxiety. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. <sighs> you lay on the bed. You try to sleep under this condition. Maybe it's the fatigue caused by nervousness, but you still fall asleep. Oh, shoot! You open your eyes after hearing some noises. <gasps> there he is! A tall man wearing a mask is squatting on the ground and looking at you with his head tilted. Hello. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> he remains silent, as if he is sizing up his prey. He points at the plate on the floor, like indicating that you should finish your meal quickly. I don't want to eat. <laughs> I don't want that pasta. It looks overcooked. Thinking that the strange man might have poisoned the meal, you shake your head in fear. <sighs> oh. Seeing you have no inten intention of eating, he looks quite distressed. You can't die. <gasps> he doesn't want me to die? Why? Not now. Oh. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Great. He slowly speaks with a deep and steady voice. The freezer is full. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, that's the only reason he doesn't want to kill me. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> this is very nice of you, sir. <laughs> Let's keep your freezer full. <laughs> Do not get rid of the other bodies, please. What does that mean? The freezer is full and there's no space for more. Lovely. <laughs> Seven days. He pauses and thinks. There won't be space until seven days later. <gasps> so, he's going to kill me in seven days? Oh my god, I... If you die now, you'll rot. <gasps> oh, great. Good to know. So, <laughs> just kill me? <laughs> Let's get over... Let's get over there already. <sighs> what do you mean? So, I only have seven days left to leave? He nods and walks out of the door. So we need all of our Otome skills here <laughs> to try and survive this. <laughs> you can't just leave me here like this, please. Oh no. Your cries can stop the door from closing. He's leaving! <gasps> Guys, we have okay, seven days to make him fall in love with us. <laughs> Let's investigate the surroundings first. <sighs> you left more food. What if we have to use the restroom, though? Like, what happens then? Let's investigate the meal. A bread and bottle of water. The door. You pick outside from the keyhole. You see the shadow of the man walking around. Seems to be busy with something. What is he doing? Hmm. The matress. Oh, sleep to end the day? No. A bread and a bottle of water. Can I do anything else? Can I only... Like, I don't want to end the day. <laughs> I don't want to end the freaking day. <laughs> but I can't seem to be able to do anything else. Look, I couldn't do anything else. <laughs> what? Oh, I should have saved. Uh, maybe if you eat and tell him it's tasty, he would be happy and fall in love. <laughs> that's right. That's that's one way to go. Okay. <gasps> you left me no food, you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, your plan already failed. <laughs> we have no food. Empty plate. Door. You check the keyhole. <gasps> you seem to see something. What is that? 
You see that there is a Vav B here at the end of the door. Oh, it's safe. <laughs> Just to be safe. No, no, no. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Observe quietly or yell for help. I'm always scared to yell, so I think we're going to observe very, very quietly. You said something wrong. And realize what you... What, uh, and realize what that is after narrowing your eyes. <gasps> what the fudge? That is an artwork made of the human body, not a human being. Why would you do that, though? <laughs> Why? Oh shoot, oh shoot. You hear the door open. You slowly push the door, and there is no trace of the strange man. This is such a bad sign. <gasps> First, you go into a room with a large freezer, sink, and operating table. Of course. Then you open another heavy door. Lovely! Not. You find yourself in a room full of glass display jars. The jars are filled with specimens made from human body parts. Ew! Oh my god. What the? It's like you're in an art museum. Yeah! Definitely art. Could it be that he wanted to freeze me as material for specimen artwork? Of course he would want that. Sir, you can't scare me. I literally played two visual novels demo earlier that literally had jump scares. <laughs> I get scared very easily. So he sure as hell <laughs> scared me. You're thinking. You seeing this scene? <laughs> the first one. <laughs> Fuck. Run away. Admire the artwork. I think this is probably an important save right here. Admire the artwork. <laughs> I want to go with the first one. <laughs> Wait, why can I? Oh, fix back to game. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> first, let's go. What the hell are these six stuff? So disgusting. Hopefully, he's not here to listen to us. <laughs> I think we're gonna die. Uh, you say all the curse words you can think of in your life. <laughs> Nice artworks, but I'm living. <laughs> Do better. <laughs> so yeah, please don't tell him that because he's going to get rid of you. You raise your fist and smash it against the glass cabinet. Are you are you crazy? Don't do that. <laughs> but stop just before your fist hits it. Okay. <sighs> We're gonna die. Your wrist is grabbed by someone. Yep. 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 Before you realize it, the man is already standing behind you. The last thing I welcome is an uneducated person like you. There you go. <laughs> we already failed. <gasps> I I didn't think he was really gonna kill us. Like... <laughs> <laughs> he will, but at least I got my last words with him. <laughs> You're resting his artwork. Oh yeah, that is a win. <laughs> so you feel a twinge in your abdomen. Great. And then the red warm liquid flows out. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. He kills you and he cleans up the scene carefully. After dissolving you with strong acid, nice, he buries you in the garden. Great. <laughs> nice. At least we didn't rot. Right? You're not even good enough to be material. <laughs> Great! <laughs> nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, let's load. Dead count one. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Thank you for um, counting my demise. 
So, <laughs> the first one is not bueno. <laughs> And we already got one of the six bad endings. And I think there are supposed to be like four good endings, if I remember correctly. <sighs> yeah, the game roast you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> You're not even good enough to be material. <laughs> I mean, fine by me. Honestly, I feel like we should admire the artworks. Because I think that he's going to be happy about that, but I want to try the runaway one first. You look for a door to escape everywhere, but just can't find any. With an idea, you lie on the wall and start tapping, trying to find if there is a hidden secret passage. There we go. Just when you're tapping, someone covers your face with a small towel from behind. You pass out after struggling for two to three minutes. Uh, okay. You're back in the small room when you wake up and the door is locked. There is no such chance ever again after that. No! Okay. You can only eat the meal he sends every day and wait for the seventh day to come. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Another red ending. Lamp f uh, to the slaughter. Yep. 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 Nice. This is very nice. <laughs> Choice for admire the artworks and he appears. See your art to be better. <laughs> they need to add that choice, honestly. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it again. load <laughs> this freaking artwork like what is that admire it maybe we, we get to like say something um, about it <laughs> now I want to roast it too Ooh, shoot. let's admire the freaking art <sighs> if we can call it that Dead count too. <laughs> Let's go. You look around and admire his work with relish. You look at them for 15 minutes straight. Interesting. No. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you hear a voice coming from the corner. Hello, sir. <laughs> Your art sucks. <laughs> it turns out that the man has been watching you from a blind spot behind the glass cabinet. Of course. Of course he was. <laughs> Ew! I like them, they're so beautiful. <laughs> He's falling madly in love with us now. The band goes silent with his head tilted for a couple of seconds after hearing your comment. He seems to be thinking about something. You <laughs> see why you're lying? <laughs> Don't you consider it cruel? He just or wants to survive. To yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> no, I feel nothing at all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's matching his freak. You're such a weirdo. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> this guy is telling me I'm a weirdo? <gasps> wow. Wow. You think, aren't you talking about yourself? <laughs> exactly. After you have a toy in his display room, he locks you back in the small room you were in. We passed the test. <laughs> no way, sir. Like, are you for real? My goodness. Uh, your survival rate increases. Let's go. Day three. Another day, another challenge. Until noon, you don't see breakfast or lunch being delivered. Oh. You're already starving. You are waiting for him to bring dinner, but what you get is not dinner. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Instead, you hear the door was opened. A light shines through the crack of the half-open door, looking like an intriguing invitation. 
The way this man is calling us weird. Coming from him. Nah, I wanna fight him. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> you open the door and walk into the light. Hopefully we can, like, fight him somehow. You first arrive at the room with an operating table outside of the door. Great. But this time, the operating table is not empty. There's a defrosted human corpse on it. <laughs> the man pops out of somewhere. He unties the iron chains from your feet and hands the surgical knife in his hand to you. <gasps> no way. <laughs> I'm literally offended right now. First. No. Where do you think the first cut should be? Oh shit. I don't know. <sighs> this freaking psycho. <laughs> uh save. Just to be safe. Your heart. <laughs> His voice then sounds cold, like the kind of teacher who gives students hard questions on purpose. <gasps> Oh, we can attack him! Let's attack him. Attack him. <laughs> uh, you turn around quickly and try to stab him in the surgical with the surgical knife. <gasps> yeah, and he kills us. <laughs> but he seems to already know you would do that and holds you down quickly. You are indeed pretending. Oh, he locks you back in the small room you were in. There is no such chance ever again. After that, you can only eat the meal and wait there to die. Great. <laughs> Amazing. Lovely. Fantastic. <laughs> no, I got the, I got it wrong. Wait. So we died again. Oh, I'm not surprised, but game, let me attack him. He literally called me. <laughs> I want to attack him. I want to attack him. <laughs> oh, dead count th three. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. Um. Stop the corpse. No, can't do it. Let's see. How are we gonna die now? You can't hurt innocent people, even if it's a corpse. But if you don't cut it, the man will know you're just pretending to admire his artwork to survive. After struggling uh, with your thoughts, you drop the knife in your head, hand in fear. You are indeed pretending. There you go. We're back to the cell, and we are left to die. <laughs> Too soft hearted. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> Too soft hearted. Load. Um, let's stop the corpse. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's definitely going to match his freak. Maybe beautiful works always come from uh come with uh some sacrifices. Without hesitation, you stab the abdomen of the corpse with the knife. Right. But due to lack of professionalism, the lines you cut are crooked and ugly. <gasps> oh my god, so romantic is going to help us cut the corpse better. This is when he gets close behind your back and holds your hand. You're both holding the surgical knife like you two are cutting a cake together. Oh my goodness, so romantic. With his hand, the lines you cut become smooth and clean. Look, look at them. <laughs> so freaking romantic. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can smell an ocean perfume on him due to how close you are. It seems to be sprayed to cover up the smell of formalin. You can feel his warmth with your back. But his fingers are a little too cold. He's focusing on cutting the corpse, and your hand keeps moving under his lead. He could have killed you or ignored you, but he didn't. You start to speculate on the purpose of his behaviors. He's falling. Could it be that he wants someone who can ignore the cruelty in process and understand him? 
you think. After the happy creative time <laughs> ends, you're locked in the room you were in. You go to sleep to end the day. So romantic. What a romantic day today. <laughs> like, so amazing. <sighs> I, need a, I need a drink. <laughs> oh my god. I did die again. <laughs> but then I successfully um, charmed him and yeah, we basically had a first date. <laughs> first date cleared, cutting a corpse. <sighs> so nice and romantic. Best date ever. <laughs> Until noon, you don't see breakfast or lunch being delivered again. I don't think we ate yesterday either. You're already starving. Oh, you notice that something is shining at the corner. <gasps> A key? It seems like the man accidentally dropped it last night. I don't think it was accidental though. You open the door with the key. <laughs> On a scale of one to five, how bad was the first day? I would say negative 300. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. She didn't smile. <laughs> we got skills to impress a lady. I mean, this NC looks pretty uninged, so <laughs> she was charmed. I don't think she smiles a lot. You go past the operating table where you two spent creative time together last night. <laughs> the display room. Then you discover that there are unnatural and even un uh, marks from one wall to the uh, to the corner. <laughs> oh wow! After pushing the trap trap door, you see a normal basement storage room. And the corner of the storage room. At the corner of the storage room, you see a stair that goes up. It turns out that this is really an underground secret room. So unoriginal <laughs> to keep us here. Hidden layer by layer with trapdoor. No wonder the sound insulation is so good. You walk up the stairs and see a heavy wooden board. You push it hard. It wasn't even locked? <laughs> the heck? What catches your eye is the interior of a cozy cabin. Then you realize the heavy wooden board you just pushed is the back of a bookcase. <sighs> More beautiful art here. <laughs> you look around and find that there are insect specimens everywhere in the cabin and there is also a reindeer head specimen hanging on the wall. <laughs> he sticks that. He really does. <laughs> then you walk into the living room. Seriously, like you're so like we were able to escape like this. I thought this was like another test or something. You see a young man with a handsome face and pale skin lying on the sofa. The ocean scented perfume and the faint smell of formalin em emanates from his body. It's him. He's the masked man who kidnapped you, but he's not wearing a mask at this time. His sleeping face has a ferocious expression. His neck is sweating, and he seems to be trembling. It looks like he's sick. Just, just run. At this time, you decide to... Oh, there you go. Save. He got no skills to impress a lady, no good art, no skills, no locking anything, and average. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's stick to opportunity to escape. Let's see what happens. If you don't run away now, then when? You open the door and find a forest with heavy snow outside. You remember why you came here. You were traveling alone. In the evening, your car hit a deer on, on the forest road 
and then stalled. With no cell phone signal in the deep mountains, you walked on the road for 30 minutes until it got dark. No, this is so scary. <coughs> I would take a picture first of him. That is so smart. Then you saw the lights of a cabin in the forest and decided to ask the occupants for help. That's when you witnessed that scene. You witnessed a man wearing a mask dragging a corpse into the cabin. And unfortunately, you were discovered by the man. You ran wildly on the mountain road, but the man was more familiar with the terrain than you were, and he quickly got in front of you and knocked you out. Then, when you opened your eyes, you were in the underground secret room. But this time, the man fell ill on the couch, and there is no one to stop you. You cross the gate with confidence, but after you only take a few steps... Oh shit. A sharp pain hits your calf, and you look down at the blood red stain on the snow. There's a trap there isn't there. Just now you realize that there are a lot of bear traps placed around the cabin. It was difficult for you to identify them because they were covered by the snow. Shoot! The unstoppable pain makes you fall forward uh forward the snow in front of you. <gasps> oh my god. As more bear traps are triggered, you are no longer you. You are an unrec unrecognizable <laughs> piece of flesh. <laughs> the snow is dyed even brighter red. And you can only wait for the wolves to eat up your remains. Beware of traps. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I thought she was gonna make it though. Too bad. Oh well, oh well. Let's try again. <laughs> I'm sorry. For, I'm not sorry for roasting him. <laughs> he still got no skills. <laughs> At least he was smart enough to leave the traps. Let's let's put it that way. <laughs> I guess we're going to stay and take care of him. I died five times now. Great. You can't bear to leave him alone. <laughs> I mean, after that amazing date last night. So you reach out and touch his forehead. <laughs> I won't admit it. <laughs> Whoa, so hot. You try to find something that can cool him down. Yeah, there has to be a good ending uh, like that. Come on. Maybe there is one in which he lets us go or something. I don't know. Let's investigate. <gasps> I couldn't save. Oh well. So let's go to the living room. The living room is spotlessly clean. Where to investigate next? Oh. Um. Bookcase. You find some of his profile files in the bookcase. Name Helen Otis, gender male, birthday October 1st, 1980. Where to investigate next? And see, I just spies you. You need to go on a real date. <laughs> For real. Uh, shelf? Locked box? There is a box with a combination lock on the shelf. <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh no. How am I supposed to know the combination? Maybe his date of birth? What was it though? Was it October 1st if I remember correctly? Though, um... First the month, then the day, and then the year, right? Oh, it's just four. Of course, never mind. Let's try this first. Incorrect. <laughs> um. mm, I don't think it's that. It was October first. Okay. I think there might there are there might be there might be more. Can I go back? Oh yeah, I can. I think we need to find more clues first. Photo frame? There is a photo frame of the shelf. 
It's a photo of him standing in at the address of the judicial mental hospital with a man in a doctor's robe. Where to investigate next? Specimens. October 31st, 2002. Hmm. I wonder if that is like... I will see. Uh, the workmanship is the in of these specimens is exquisite. Yeah. Amazing. Lovely. Sofa? You don't think it's good for a patient to sleep on the sofa, but you can move in with your strength. Where to investigate next? The shelf? Cocoa powder? There is a jar of cocoa powder, uh, powder and a cup on it. Let's make him a cup of cocoa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> uh, luck box? Maybe 2002. What is it then? Bet he got daddy issues like his dad for uh, forced him to be a doctor or whatever. <laughs> Used to dream being an artist. Oh, that's a good theory. <laughs> you shouldn't feel bad for uh, roasting him. He deserves it. Um, <clears throat> I want to know the freaking combination though. Did I try this? I, oh yeah, I think I did, yeah. Mm. Just gonna try them all. <laughs> what could it be though? Maybe it's... No, it can't be, no. <sighs> Random number? <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Maybe it's like zero, zero, zero. One, one, one. Two, 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 two. <laughs> uh, three, three, three. Uh, what about oh one? Oh, let's try it. And by the way, hello, <laughs> hello, Mac. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Um, I think we investigated everything, right? Well, not the man himself, though. His expression is ferocious. He seems to be in pain. He's still having a fever. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot to. Uh, I'm so engaged with this code. I forgot to say that. <laughs> You're good. I I am. I'm struggling with the code. I don't get it. We have a date here, but uh, I've tried it. And it didn't work the picture but that's not very helpful um, wait what did it say again here mental hospital okay To know the code. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just 
just uh, what could it be so annoying <laughs> can I save Let's end the investigation and see what happens. No, I'm not sure. Let's try and go to the kitchen first. The kitchen is spotlessly clean. Fridge. There are some ice cubes in it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> this can cool down his body temperature. Cabinet. You find some green towels in the kitchen cabinet. I can soak a towel in ice water and place it on a patient's forehead to cool him down. That's it. living room okay so there are there are no other hints October 1st This is important. What the heck? We have his date of birth and that painting. That painting's date. But like. That's it. I wasn't expecting to have to think <laughs> either. What the heck? <sighs> I mean, This is so weird. Why isn't it working? <laughs> what the heck? How else can I write down his uh, his birthday date? Like, I get four numbers. So what the heck? <laughs> Maybe no zeros. No. <laughs> The true horror is actually a password for real. <laughs> Am I gonna be spending all this time on the freaking password? I'm gonna, just gonna try. <laughs> Again. So are you excited for a nine rip? Yes, 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 I really am. Oh, let's try it. <gasps> I, I, 
have I really not done that before? <laughs> oh my god. Didn't I do that though? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. Thank you so much. But I really thought that I I tried them all. <laughs> I, I thought I did too, like what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. <clears throat> oh, there is a knot in the box that says... Yeah, that's that sounds familiar, like that totally makes sense. Not, like... <laughs> that's not useful at all, what does that mean? <laughs> I wonder what it means. <gasps> what the? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's it? What, what, what? <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> I'm seriously gonna go crazy. <laughs> Math problem? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave if it's a math problem or something. <laughs> An investigation. Goodbye forever. Can we grab a weapon and hit that man right now, please? You return to the living room, wring out the excess water from a towel soaked in ice water and place it on his forehead. So what was that in the freaking box though? <laughs> what the heck? I thought it was important. <laughs> Dang it. You return to the living room, wring out the excess water from a towel soaked in ice water. Okay, yeah. <laughs> his ferocious expression gradually softened. Now he's sleeping like a baby. You once again notice his hair, uh, his fair skin and long eyelashes, and his slightly curly black hair. Ah, so handsome, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I won't give him any credit for the bear traps. <laughs> if you don't say he's a murderer, his living face looks very harmless now. <laughs> After a while. Oh, oh, oh my god. He wakes up to the scent of your brewing cocoa and sits up on the couch. He's so scary. <laughs> he looks a little shocked. <coughs> Hello, sir. He's kind of cute, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> he looks around quickly and seems to understand what is going on. Why are you doing this? Because there are um, bear traps outside and I cannot leave. <laughs> so my only way to get out of this alive is to charm you. I want to ask myself that too. You saw me faint and didn't choose to run away. Just because of the traps again. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. <laughs> again? That is actually very rude. I bet you prefer him over- <gasps> Never! Never. No. No, 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 no. Definitely not over them. Maybe over Wataru and ha Haku. Haku? What was his name again? <laughs> Fake Alan, but... <laughs> Definitely not Rei or Tenya. Is there anyone weirder than you in this house? <laughs> you tell him, MC. You can't help a bitch about him. <laughs> there you go. You seem to see the corners of his mouth rising slightly for a few seconds, and the atmosphere between you relaxes. He doesn't drink the cocoa you brewed for him. It seems that he's still a little wary of you. He's smiling. <gasps> That's kind of creepy. <laughs> He looks very uh, normal right now. 
<laughs> Hello, Emily. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? It's so nice to see you here. How are you doing? Today we are playing a horror romance or a romance horror visual novel. I think horror romance. Um, and we are just trying to survive this guy right here. We already died, like, I don't even know how many times. <laughs> a lot. I think five. But we are going strong. <laughs> oh, poisoning the drink. We should, like, um, weaken him and just throw him on the traps. So we can we can find an escaping route. My day is good. How are you? I'm glad you're doing good. I'm doing great. <laughs> Given the situation here with this lovely serial killer. <laughs> but yeah, I, I started playing Nine Rip today. And just, I think I played for like an hour. I'm on the prologue still. And oh my god, you guys. It is so good. It is perfect for October. For this spooky month. Because it's really, it's not really, it's not jumpy. Like you don't get scare jumps and stuff. But it's, it is creepy at times with the, with the horror stories and the spooky stories. I love it. I think it's very early to say, but I think it might be one of my favorite Otome games this year. But we'll see. I mean, I'm still at the prologue, so... <laughs> but it's, it's promising. <laughs> True, a serial killer with no skills. <laughs> he literally got sick and we... <laughs> got into his living room so <gasps> Arcage's new demo on October 5th <gasps> yes let's go I need to check that out we really need to play it oh my god thank you for giving me such an amazing news thank you Emily I need to check that out I saw someone play one route in Nine Rip and they, s and they were translating it. I love it so much. Let's go. <gasps> I am so excited. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil it. But ah, so good. <laughs> so, 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 so good. Plus, whenever there is a character voiced by um, Nobuhiko. <laughs> Okamoto, I am like, yes, this is going to be a good game. <laughs> also, I guess the plot of One Love Interest. All I can say, I was right. I I want to. I don't want to know anything, but I kind of want to know. <laughs> well, just let just tell me who, because I'm curious. Even though I don't know their names yet. I changed my phone wallpaper to the night rip all of interest. Ah, because they are so freaking cool. They all look amazing. He doesn't drink the cocoa you brewed for him. It seems that he's still a little wary of you. <gasps> he's smart. <laughs> he's a little smart not to drink it. Uh, can you tell me who you are? Bloody painter. That's the name they gave me for my modus operandi. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Bloody painter. Good hair. Uh, uh, which one is that? Red and purple hair. I called him Red Puppy. <laughs> Red and purple, purple hair. Who the heck is that? <laughs> is it the poster guy? I don't think he's got... No, I don't think it's him. I can't remember. <laughs> Wait, I need to look it up. Oh yeah, it is the poster guy, no? <laughs> Red puppy. <laughs> okay, yeah, poster guy. I, I mean, I already like him a lot. <laughs> I 
but oh, now I'm even more excited. Uh, that's the name that gave me. Okay. If you find it difficult to pronounce, you can call me BP. Why would it be dif <laughs> difficult to pronounce? What the heck? <laughs> okay, BP. Even though what he told you was just a nickname, at least you know how to call him now. After the brief conversation on the sofa, he does not lock, uh, lock you back in the underground secret room. Let's go. <laughs> this is progress. Perhaps staying to take care of him when he fell ill was enough to prove that you won't run away. I'm not running away just because of the traps, dang it. A oh, heart gauge, the hoops only on the hands we need. <laughs> yes, I cannot wait to get the full freaking game. And hey, love, Sarah, welcome. How are you doing? A oh, heart gauge, I swear, when that game comes out, I'm gonna be feral. <laughs> Because it's spicy too, so like it's got everything. <laughs> Whenever you finish Quirea's route, let me know. Because I made a joke and that joke became the blood. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. As soon as I play it, I'll let you know. Well, as soon as I finish it. Um, you get up from the sofa and continue to look at the specimen decorations in the living room. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> I'm okay. Just a bit a little... Uh, just a bit like a twitchy feral chihuahua mentally. Oh no! Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's that's a pretty um great image. <laughs> and now I'm just imagining Chihuahua's barking. <laughs> oh, there's just Chihuahua's barking in my head. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have outcasters staying over a week longer than originally promised. <gasps> do not like, do not want. That is... Oh, no. No, 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 no. That is just too much. A week longer is, like, such a long time, though. I mean, I could kind of understand a day or two, but a week? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I would just put the sign on. <laughs> I saw a meme the other day with a sign over a, a, an entrance door. <laughs> That said, leave. <laughs> I would have put that in my house. Uh, five more days and I am free. Come on, stay strong, Sarah. You can do it. Sending you positive vibes. <laughs> By the way, oh, you better not try to escape. You're telling me this now? <laughs> really? There are traps all around the cabin. Oh, yeah. And only I know how to get in and out safely. Yeah, I figured that out by dying uh, earlier. <laughs> you sit on the sofa. Soon, a wave of sleepiness comes over you. Today, you fall asleep on the sofa in the living room, not in the cold out and ground secret room. This is such a good um, progress. Like, come on. Oh, day five? He's, you, see him uh, <laughs> you see him busy cleaning in and out of the house early in the morning. I'll come help too. What? What? What, what is that? I mean, I don't want to know, but... Oh my god. They're the Hub's parents over from a different country for a wedding. They were supposed to be here a week, go off and do stuff in other states, and then um, stay a week at the end. Instead, they were like, lol, we're just gonna stay here for a couple of weeks and then go a different state for the rest of it and go back home from there instead. <laughs> Yay, that's a great change of plans! She said, smiling while, while dying inside. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Stay strong, Sarah, for real. <laughs> I would be going crazy. <laughs> the language barriers also are like... <laughs> oh, I see. Well, that's a good learning opportunity, right? <laughs> um, 
Has he got good cleaning skills? I mean, I hope he dies with all the corpses and cuttings that he does. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Without even asking the abs or I or any of it, they're nice but just impatient. Um, yeah, parents and in-laws, sometimes they are like that. <laughs> Not that I have any experience with in-laws, but you know. <laughs> Home invasion. <laughs> That's a real home invasion. Uh, BP, their voice is nice though. Yeah, I do like his voice actor. But you can't really see where this almost spotless house needs to be cleaned. Yeah, I knew he was like a cleaning maniac or something. Uh, you're just taking a clean wet rug and wiping it on the clean cabinet. There you go. Do you usually love cleaning this much? It would soon be covered with a layer of dust. <laughs> oh. Although he doesn't talk much, his summon voice gives you a gentle feeling and don't make you feel nervous. You climb up the short ladder and wipe the high cabinets with a rag. Suddenly, a cockroach crawls out ugh, from the crack in the cabinet. You are so frightened that you lose your balance and fall backwards. Ooh, you close your eyes. But what, get, uh, what you get is not the pain of falling to the ground, but a warm feeling. <gasps> He's actually kind of handsome. <laughs> you open your eyes and find that he's holding you like you're a princess. He catches you with the same old cold expression on his are face. Are you alright? I am, sir. <laughs> Perhaps to resolve the awkwardness, she asks. I'm alright, it was just a cockroach. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> what the heck? That's so scary! <sighs> Hearing the word cockroach, she puts you down. Oh no, is it gonna kill us? I mean, it wasn't our fault! He takes two steps back from the cabinet you just wiped and then says calmly, Don't come near here yet. Oh no. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> Ray, Sammy don't want you. He wants this. She wants. To <laughs> no! <laughs> That's not true! <sighs> it's dangerous. It's dangerous? A cockroach is dangerous? <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. You can help but chuckle at the thought of a murderer being afraid of cockroaches. <laughs> okay. All the cockroaches in the house, please come and help. <laughs> Fine, whatever you say. The interaction just now makes you feel a little warmth from this cold murderer. At least you see more of his reactions and expressions. For once, <laughs> for once I agree with him. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, you guys are not totally wrong. He would hate the place I used to live. <laughs> place because of neighbors and such was infested with watches. Oh no, before we even moved in. Oh my gosh, I am glad that you ran away <laughs> from that place. <laughs> At least you see more of his reactions and expressions. This is the rare relaxation you, f you have felt in this... In these tense days, okay. <laughs> he could have let you fall off the ladder, but he rushed over to catch you. Some, somehow, you feel that after these few days of getting along, maybe now you both have different ideas about each other than originally had. Cause like I was just playing Resident Evil 5 or 6 with my friend, the enemies was big cockroaches, I was losing my mind. Ew, that's disgusting. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ugh, just shivering at the thought. It was only a clear relationship between a murderer who wanted to hunt and a prey who was trying to escape. But now he has an extra layer of friendship, causing the interaction between you to have an indescribable sense of dissonance. Just when you pick up the old newspaper and prepare to wipe the windows, you find a police car parked on the road in the distance. Okay. I think there's going to be a new challenge here. <laughs> We're stuck there early 2014 to mid 2016. Two years, two whole years. Well, not two whole years, but two, almost two years. Our new place, we can 
even leave food out or be slobbish still in the same city within two miles in the old place and no issue here I guess they just really liked that <laughs> that place Oh, I don't I cannot even think about it honestly here in Italy I I, I honestly have never seen one um, a cockroach but when I went to China I saw so many <laughs> and I was so disgusted because like of course I saw him on on TV or whatever but seeing them in real life oh I was about to throw up I swear one time we were shopping and we were looking at scarves or something I can't remember and like we we took um a scarf and <laughs> suddenly there was a cockroach that came out of like the place where the scarves were and we started yelling <laughs> me and my friend and like everybody was looking at us like we were going crazy <laughs> because like it's normal to have them there but <laughs> We were super freaked out. <laughs> yeah, we just threw the scarf there and ran away. <laughs> Apartment with gravel instead of grass, but olive trees, so plenty of food sources. They were uh, they were the hard to get rid of. German watches too. They were the worst. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Now I'm really scared of scarves in general. <laughs> So the police is here. At some point, PP is ready behind you, looking out the window with you. Wait for a second. Uh, sure. And then he walks out of the door to talk to the police officers. Is there anything I can help you with? Are you Mr. Otis? Yes, I am. Have you ever seen these people around here? The police officer takes out some photos from his pocket. Have these people committed a crime and are running away? No, these people are missing people around this area. I haven't seen them before. Liar! Wolves and bears often appear around here. Yeah, right. Can we check out your cabin? Yes, come in. <laughs> Just like this? Bupi behaves very kindly and politely. After speaking, he leads the way for the police officers. Please. Follow my footsteps. What about the bear traps, though? I placed some traps near the cabin oh, okay. to protect against wild wolves and bears. You don't want to step on them. The police officers enter the house and see you. Hello, this is... An old friend who came to visit me recently. Yeah, right. You greet the police officers with a smile and a, and a nod. At the same time, a police officer quickly looks through the missing person's photos in his hand, then he puts the photo back into his pocket. It seems that your disappearance has not been discovered by anyone yet. You stand next to the bookcase, blocking the entrance to the secret room. After searching around, the police find nothing unusual and leave. His trust in you increases. Good. Today, you still sleep on the couch in the living room instead of in the cold basement. Nice. Off asleep, you hear the sound of someone approaching. When you notice it, the person seems to be very close to you. You pretend to be asleep, and the person just looks at your sleeping face quietly. Oh, he's turning into... Like, he's getting even more creepy now. <laughs> I hope there is an ending where he goes to jail. I'm curious how you can actually escape him, or we can betray him. <gasps> I do want a betrayal ending, honestly. <laughs> oh, you pretend to be asleep and blah blah blah. Why would we want to escape though? <laughs> I mean, he is kinda handsome. <laughs> the man stretches out his hand and takes it back just as he is about to touch your hair. Oh, cute! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's, what's going on? <laughs> He's falling, he's falling for us, or for her. <laughs> he turns around and leaves. Oh, come on. <laughs> we almost had him. Oh, we have two more days. 
and that he's going to kill us. You see him busy in the kitchen for a while. Then breakfast is served in front of you. There is a piece of toast with just the right crispiness on the large brown plate. A poached egg on top of the toast and some lettuce salad. The plating looks delicious. The drink is a cup of freshly brewed hot cocoa. The cutlery he gives you is still a round plastic fork with no fancy features. Of course not. You sit at the dining table and start eating, while he sits on the chair opposite you and flips to a book. It's still snowing outside, and listening to the squeaking sound of the fireplace, the atmosphere in the cabin is particularly comfortable. As long as you ignore the fact that you are in the same room with the murderer who kidnapped you, everything is very relaxing. <laughs> cool. Very, very cool. You look at him who is full of mysteries and some questions arise in your mind. And you decide to... Uh, what? <laughs> Does it really matter if I'm loud or not? <laughs> Let's save just in case. Should we ask loudly? I have a question! <laughs> you say with a super loud voice. I don't think he's impressed. I'm not Van Gogh. I have ears to hear. <laughs> oh my god. What is it? Does he think he's funny? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> what book do you usually read? Pick up the book next to you and read it. What work are you going to use me for? Oh my god. <laughs> About potted plants. <laughs> Um, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of want to ask him what is he going to use me for. <laughs> you ask bravely. He looks up at you for a moment. I was going to make you into some kind of doll at first. Is that you, Kanato? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Your eyes are beautiful, but if they are left alone, they will become rotten and sunken. Okay. I don't I don't know if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> so I would like to dig your eyes out oh. and put them in a glass jar. Okay. And soak them in formalin to Lovely. preserve them. Mm. Uh fantastic. <laughs> we need to do better with art. I am not gonna tell him that. Glass beads will be placed in the empty eye sockets to replace the eyes. Right. You look very pleasing to the eye, so I would also like to keep the head intact. Such a charmer. <laughs> uh, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> oh my god. Why did he say it first? Has his mind changed? You're curious, but you don't have the guts to ask any further. Oh, permanent pretty. <laughs> I'm telling you, this I this is Kanato from Diabolic Lovers. <laughs> oh, shoot. You're curious, but you don't have the guts to ask any further. Uh, what book do you usually read? Usually, I would read some anatomy and taxidermy books, but today is different. What are you reading today? The Truman Show. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, what is the book like? The whole world that the protagonist lives in, including himself, is all just someone's creation. Everything that happens is watched by the audience, and there is no privacy at all. Hmm. But he is completely unaware that he is in such a large theater. Very ridiculous, right? I can't imagine this to happen in reality, or to me. If our world was like the Truman Show, how would the audience view the current situation? Uh, I can tell you that we are very creeped out by you, <laughs> but also kind of fascinated. <laughs> uh, there must be, must be unforgivable, must be excited. What does that mean? Um, 
Excited? Why? I don't know, I just... Winged it. <laughs> they may be attracted by your charm and want to be killed by you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sure, we do want... <laughs> no, 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 we don't! <laughs> Did I just doomed us? Incomprehensible. True. But what a bunch of weirdos with good taste. <laughs> you guys, he's insulting us! <laughs> wow. He keeps calling us weirdo. <laughs> it's hard to tell from his poker face whether he's seriously bo uh, boasting or joking. Wow. This guy. You pick up the book next to you and start flipping through. It's a book about the possibility of having a complete opposite version of yourself in a parallel world. If there's a complete oppos opposite version of you, what do you think it would be like? Oh, that book. Let me think. Probably a guy wearing a burgundy coat and always having a smile on his face. <laughs> okay. Why is it a burgundy coat? Because I like blue. If he is the opposite of me, he should like red, right? Okay. <laughs> right. I saw many potted plants on the shelves in the living room, but why were they all withered? I have tried my best. I don't know why they always die. Mm. Aww, poor guy. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's noon. Though, to thank you for making breakfast for me today, let me make lunch in return. <laughs> He's not impressed. <laughs> he frowns at you with an expression like, Are you out of your mind? Don't worry, he said there are traps outside the, the house. Only you know how to get in and out normally. Even if I resist you with an uh, resist you with a knife, I can't escape. Okay, but I'll keep an eye on you. Yeah, yeah. Don't try anything stupid. Great. As for what to cook uh, and the ingredients, wow. Better the have flushes through your head, and curiosity makes you ask. You, do you eat human flesh? No, why would I do that? Okay. <laughs> I just use human bodies as materials for making art, and I never think about eating them. Okay, that's totally normal. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you murderers all had some degree of canna cannibalism. Let's put it this way. Do you eat paint and painting tools just because I kill people to use as materials to make works? doesn't mean I will eat them. Okay. Also, I'm different from those who have fun committing a crime and kill purely for the sake of killing. Yeah, you're so different. <laughs> Don't confuse me with that kind of unprincipled guy. <laughs> oh my, okay. I'm sorry I offended you. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> I know, right? I wouldn't do anything unless necessary. You are here only because you witnessed the crime scene. I see. After hearing this, you decide to <gasps> cook a human meat dish. Are you? Are you? Are you kidding me? Oh my god! A common dish. But I want to see what happens if I cook a human meat dish. <laughs> Let's do that first. Can I try cooking human flesh? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> We are, we are definitely... Are you serious? Why do mm -hmm. you do that? I don't, I don't know. I'm quite curious about the taste of human flesh. Haven't you ever been curious about no, it? No, never thought of it. Oh my god! This also helps you get rid of unnecessary material, doesn't it? I do have some useless cuts of meat in the basement freezer. Oh my god, no, you guys don't. Great! By the way, I won't eat it. <laughs> he says, but still takes it to the basement to open the freezer and takes out a piece of human thigh meat. You turn on the oven and start to cook. Oh my god. I thought <laughs> I thought it was gonna kill her or something. <laughs> Vivi watches the entire production process. Rather than worrying about you escaping, he's more worried about you blowing up the kitchen. <gasps> oh my god! No, 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 no. Not long after, a roasted human thigh steak appears on the table. Hmm. 
<sighs> he stares at a human steak on the table and has no intention of eating. What's wrong? You go ahead and eat. I have no appetite. <laughs> Fine. You cut the human steak into a size that fits your mouth, put a piece into your mouth. The human flesh just... Oh, let's go! Hello, Saras! Welcome, welcome, how you doing? Today we are playing um, a horror romance visual novel. And we are on day six out of seven of trying to survive this guy. And apparently we just cooked a human leg. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the human flesh tastes firm, very chewy, and has a distinct beefy flavor. It tastes a bit like venison. Although it's delicious, it's difficult to chew, so you chew it with for a very long time. <laughs> Why? <laughs> BP frowns and sits aside, watching you eating with gusto. It's really delicious, wouldn't you like some? No. <laughs> he continues to watch you eating with gusto. <laughs> At this point, your fork accidentally falls to the ground. You bend down to pick up the fork that had fallen uh, to the bottom of the table, then raise your head to continue eating. Hmm? You look at your plate and notice that is, there seems to be a piece of meat missing. Not bad. <gasps> Why did he try it in the end? Ugh. Did you say something? Nothing. He licks his fingertips and says, You had a fairly pleasant afternoon. <gasps> I'm scared. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. You are woken up by your s uh, from your sleep by the men. His face is close to you, and his blue eyes are staring at you. Um, what's wrong? You sit up on the couch and rub your eyes. Got to go. Got to go? I've noticed something unusual about the number of police cars patrolling nearby recently. Oh. They must have some relevant evidence and are doubting it. It is very likely there is an ambush outside. It's snowing heavily outside now. And I think it's time to leave now. Come with me or not. It's your choice. Wait, so like... He's kind of letting us go? Or not? <gasps> oh, what is this? Well, it's a great idea to save. <laughs> you choose to stay or go with him. Um, I want to try and stay first. Hi, yeah, so your Instagram story, so I came here. Yes, let's go. Welcome, welcome. I am Semi, and I play lots of visual novels, Otome games especially. And since it, this is the spooky month, I decided to play some horror games. Always, always adding romance though. <laughs> But yeah, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Are you into um, Otome games? Have you played a lot? If we stay, won't we be a criminal? Well, we can just say that he um, forced us or something. Hopefully they'll believe us. I want to stay and live a normal life. You think that is that this is crazy? Oh yeah, but we did eat that human meat. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's disgusting. You think that this crazy journey should not go on anymore? Okay, I understand. Really? Suddenly, his face slowly moves closer to you, just when he's about to touch you. <gasps> of course, of course, he would do that. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that he would um, let us go, but I guess not. He takes a piece of cloth and covers your mouth and nose hard. After struggling hard for two to three minutes, your consciousness gradually becomes blurred. <gasps> no way! I think it was a test! When you open your eyes, you're back in the basement again. 
You are tied to a chair and you can't move your body. You try to break free, but you fail. The rope is tied very firmly. You hear someone's footsteps getting closer to the door. The door opens. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> he walks in slowly, holding something behind his back. He moves closer and closer to you until he's at your ear. You can hear his breathing and your own har heartbeats. You close your eyes out of fear. You can feel that he's scratching your skin softly with the back of a knife and the cold metal stimulates your nerves. His palm is holding back uh, the back of your neck through his glove as if he's stunning your face and thinking about where to cut it. Oh shoot. Fear blows inside you, tears filling your eyes unconsciously. Suddenly, he fiercely holds up the back of your neck, forcing you to look at him in, in the eyes. He slowly speaks with a softer tone in your ear. If you stay here, you might reveal my information to the police. The risk of keeping you alive is too high. But even if I say I want you to come with me, a normal person like you will leave me one day, eventually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm doing well. I hope you too. I also like Atomic Games, but for now I only play Love and Deep Space. Do you know it? Yes! I love Love and Deep Space. I think it's my favorite Otome game for now. I am so obsessed. Who's your favorite? I uh, my favorite used to be Zane. And I mean he's still he's still my favorite, but oh my god, Silas. I am literally super duper obsessed with Silas. <laughs> Ever since he dropped, I because I am so fascinated by the villains or the villain type. He's not really a villain, but you know. And uh, <laughs> so I am there, um, not wanting to cheat on Zane, but uh, Silas is he's he's charming me. <laughs> we do have the same situation. Let's go. And you know, I like I like all four of them. Even Caleb, but um, Zane and Silas, so good. Zane is my favorite, but Silas, oh my god, I am so glad I found someone who understands me. <laughs> this is great. This is so great. Have you played the whole um, story that's available for now? Did you get any cards from the new event? I quite like you. Oh, thank you, BP. And if it's you, I would like to turn you into a work and put you somewhere. I can see you every day. <laughs> That's so cute, I guess. It's you who made me realize that I might be more selfish than I thought. Don't worry. I'll saw your head off as material <gasps> for artwork and visit you every day. Oh, that that's thoughtful. Thank you. Thank you for spending these few days with me. I felt quite at ease. Oh my god. We'll have more time to spend together in the future. <gasps> ah, nice. The red flower flows from your from the neck. What do you mean day seven? We're literally dead. Oh, now you can neither feel or think. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Everything becomes dark. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Your body and your skull are separated. He finds a new place after he takes your head and leaves the cabin. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> he carefully makes your head into a specimen and your eyes are replaced with glass beads. Oh, that's right, because he said that he would take us, I mean, our eyes out. Nice. You are made into a beautiful but also creepy doll and he visits you often. You become his favorite work. You are with him forever in the form of art. <laughs> oh my god! I'm having shoe flashbacks. <laughs> Which shoe though? <laughs> favorite work. Great. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> do better. <laughs> Dead count six. Let's go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> of course, this would happen. 
I mean, let's stay then. <laughs> I want to stay and live a normal life. You think that? No. Why did it? Why did it do that? <laughs> Load. I mean, go with him. What do you want me to do? I'm fine with both choices, but I need you to look me in the eyes and tell me what do you prefer me to do. You stare at his eyes. I prefer. Yeah. He hesitates to speak and looks away, looking like he's thinking about something. <gasps> Not. Uh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> did I did I make it? I don't think I did. Your behavior makes him a little panicked, and he doesn't seem to be good at this kind of situation. You notice that his ears are flashed, and his unexpected reaction makes you want to tease him a little bit. I wasn't expecting the time choice. Come on. <laughs> What do you prefer me to do? <laughs> Though he's so cute when he flashes! Oh my god! <laughs> I prefer. Oh my god. Yeah? After a moment of silence, he slowly speaks. Let you come with me. Oh, that is so cute! He tries hard to look you in the eyes and speaks his thoughts. We'll set off early tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was cute. <laughs> Follow my footsteps. <laughs> that is true. I should always expect the time choice choices. Uh, but <laughs> oh, he put he put on his mask again. I wonder why. Yeah, I got first Raphael's car, then I got Silas, but now I want Zane too. <laughs> I get it. I I pulled um with the free tickets that they gave us um, and I got Zane's card I was so happy I was trying to pull for Silas because I, th I saw the they were hugging and stuff but oh my god as soon as I saw the Zane's one I was like okay now this is the best one <laughs> I really hope you get Zane's but I mean all of their cards are so good I still I still want to pull for Silas but I want to try and save diamonds for the next event. Uh, even Bustafellas had some and it was rude without them. A few of them. <laughs> that is true, I remember that. Yes, the, the alternate dimension ones. You got Silas's and Saviors. Okay, I swear, everybody has got Silas's but me. <laughs> everybody! <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> but I am really happy with my Zane card, honestly. So, whatever. <laughs> They're all so freaking beautiful. <laughs> I am so obsessed with that game. He carries MC over his shoulder. Yes, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I love it so much. I saw it on YouTube, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I watched I watched all of them. <clears throat> you follow his shoe prints, he leaves in the snow and finally succeed in avoiding the many traps around the cabin. Okay. <clears throat> I wish I was MC too. <laughs> Just as you're walking through the forest, you hear movement behind you. <gasps> oh my god, the police! I played the demo for Bastafellows, uh, the first one. There's a demo? Oh wow, I didn't know that. Bastafellows is so good. I always recommend it to everybody. In a snowstorm, several policemen were uh, who were lying in ambush chase after you. You ignore them and keep running forward. <laughs> They're shooting? A gunshot shoots across the sky and you feel a pain in your left calf. You are shot. Are you serious right now? <sighs> oh my god, is the collector edition any good? I, I was stupid enough not to buy it. But now I'm regretting it. Regretting it. So much so that I got the limited edition for the second game 
and oh my god it's so good i really hope they recreate the pizza box for uh for the localization because it's everything <laughs> so good he turns to look at you as if he's considering whether to leave you seriously <laughs> run you yell at him but he approaches you And he holds you in his arms. Oh my gosh, he's saving us! You feel a warmth on your forehead. Or maybe not. <laughs> he's just kissing us goodbye! <laughs> I do like the soundtrack CD uh, is also made to look like the mixtape Scarecrow made for Tilda too. Yes, I love that too! You felt the time freezes at this moment. The kiss is almost like a goodbye. Then he leaves you <gasps> and runs forward, disappearing into the heavens. No, what? <laughs> he didn't think he was gonna leave us, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, I was not expecting this. You are later taken back to the police for questioning. You say throughout the process that you were a victim. On that note, you're not lying. You don't reveal any unnecessary details. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that we ate human flesh? Since there is no relevant evidence to prove that you are an accomplice, the police can only release you after a long period of interrogation. After that... <coughs> oh, this is a beautiful room. Two years passed, oh wow. What do you mean cheap? Now you live in a cheap little apartment. Yeah, so small. Like, just the rest, the bedroom is this big. You live an ordinary life as if what happened two years ago never happened. Today is Halloween, of course it is, <laughs> and every household nearby has put some thought into making decorations. But for you, it's just another day at work. Oh my God. When you return to your apartment after getting off work in the evening, the strange thing is that as soon as you open the door, you feel a gust of wind. You remember that you closed the window before going out? Uh-oh. That's when you're about to close the window. <gasps> a rose! You find a gift left by someone on the table next to the window's wheel. Windows hill. A red rose. You don't know why, but you have a feeling that BP has been here. Every Halloween after that, you receive a rose at your resi residence. It's like a once a year greeting. <laughs> I thought that <laughs> I thought that too, honestly. Also, he says nothing. The rose seems to tell everything. <laughs> okay. Although you have certain similarities, you are two people from different worlds after all. Perhaps living your own life this way is the best outcome for both of you. <gasps> Good end? Different world? No way! Wow. But, um... So I don't think I grabbed his hand. Or maybe that wasn't the problem, let's see. So I'll go with you. I prefer. Hold his hand. No, this is the one. I prefer. Okay, never mind. Go with him. I prefer. Do nothing. <laughs> if I take you with me, you might become a burden in the process. Right. But if I don't take you, it will be even worse if you reveal my information to the police. So you might as well come with me. Follow my footsteps. Okay. The police is here. We get shot. He turns to look at you as if he's considering whether to leave you. He approaches you. And he holds you in his arms. Then... <gasps> you feel a pain in your back. 
The hand he is holding around you from behind is a sharp blade. Oh my god! He faces your body with that sharp blade over and over until you lose consciousness. Everything becomes dark. Until just now you realize that you chose to follow because... I wanna follow him? <laughs> oh? You wake up from a nightmare and you are lying on a comfortable bed. What the heck is happening? <laughs> Give me an ending so I can betray him. <laughs> You look around and find yourself in a cozy looking room with specimens hanging on the walls. So he took us it took him I mean he took us with him. Are somehow. you alright? What happened? The man asks as he op opens the door. I'm alright. Two years after that. That night two years ago, even after you were shot in the leg, the two of you continued to run forward in the snow. Fortunately, the wind and snow were strong enough to cover up your whereabouts, so you were not caught up. Seriously? <laughs> what about the stats? After that, you came to another remote mountainous area and rented another cabin to if settle you're fine, here. Get up quickly. I will need your help in today's creation. Yes, teacher. <laughs> oh my god. Bring me the bone saw. Okay. Iron and the blood will trigger a luminal reaction. Any area with blood stains outside should be wiped with hydrogen peroxide at least three times. Wiping blood stained areas with hydrogen peroxide what the reduces fudge? the luminescence, but when it's dark, it still glows obviously to the naked eye. So, try not to leave blood stains anywhere other than the basement. Uh, got it. Good girl, you're learning fast. <gasps> Okay. The fuck? <laughs> he teaches you carefully every step and every detail. You assist him in cleaning up crime scenes and assisting him in completing his creations. During the day, you pretend to be good citizens under false identities. And at night, in a place where people can't see you, you create creations that are adroit by both humans and gods. The paranoia of art, the clean and neat killing methods, the cautious and intelligent thoughts, the neat and invisible crime scenes. You are obsessed with everything about him and he's the person you long to follow. You long to become the second him uh, under his leadership. Okay. He is a good mentor. Rather than pampering his disciple, he prefers to use guidance to let you learn freely. You have become a pawn that he is proud of. He is proud of. For him, he would do anything. Until an accident occurred while committing a crime, his legs were permanently injured and he could only walk with crutches since, since then. Oh? He's already in his 40s at this time, but you feel that the traces of time make him elegance even more charming. Oh my god! Just when you think that the body, pa the bloody painter's evil deeds have come to an end. Take it. I have nothing left to teach you. Oh. So I guess we are now the bloody painter. <laughs> so are we the yonder for him now? <laughs> yep. I, I, I do. I, I agree with you, sir. <laughs> Teacher, what do you mean by you that? You seem to like this mask very much. I don't think I'll use it anymore, so I'll give it to you. Oh. What to do next is up to you. He gives his mask to you. You look at the mask in your hand and seem to understand the meaning of the teacher's words. You think to yourself that maybe your encounter with him years ago was just for this moment. I won't disappoint you. The legend continues. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Master and Disciple. <laughs> wow. Just wow. I prefer. Let's see if I do nothing, what happens? If I take you with me, but if I don't take you, it will be even. Okay. So you might as well come with me. Da, 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 da. Follow my footsteps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This 
stabs me and he and I are the same kind. Let's see. Are you alright? Oh, shoot, shoot, stop. I heard someone talk very frequently in their sleep. Can I go back? Dang it. <sighs> Guess not. History. Fortunately, the wind and storm. After that, you came to another room. What one to. Yeah, we know that. Okay, we're good. I was just having a nightmare. <gasps> What's happening? <laughs> he sits on the edge of the bed and strokes your cheek, his forehead touching yours gently. <gasps> Don't worry. There's nothing to be afraid of. Why is this like super cute? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to like them so much. There's nothing more dangerous than me here. <laughs> yeah, right. He is right. If you are just an ordinary person, you should be worried about the murderer living under the same roof as you now, rather than a nightmare. But you're not an ordinary person. You are as cold-blooded and emotionless as him. Oh no! <laughs> this is not cute anymore! <laughs> you two are equally evil, but this makes you both find a sense of belonging in the other. Living with others made him feel uncomfortable at first, but living with a crazy person like him doesn't make him feel uncomfortable. Because you can always quickly know what the other person is thinking, and you also know clearly where the other person's boundary is. You live under the same roof, but you don't interfere with each other. He continues to commit crimes and you sometimes participate on a whim. <gasps> you have each other by your sh the short hairs, and you know that if you expose each other's crimes to the public, then you will be finished too, so you more or less cover each other. You have a strange symbiotic relationship where you sometimes dislike each other and sometimes deceive each other, but you also have absolute trust in each other. Two madmen keeping each other company. Madman's house. <laughs> oh my god! Let's see. <coughs> Wait, this was supposed to be a good ending? Are you kidding me? So we got all the good endings. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We got all the good endings. <laughs> oh my god. So we got the good ending with the doll thingy. Uh, the good ending where we escaped somehow. And... The one where we, we actually became uh, the bloody painter. And then this weird ending. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, he kept your pretty head and everything. Yeah, that's the best ending, basically. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Just wow. <laughs> this game was crazy. I think it was the perfect beginning to the... Pokemons. <laughs> I just, I just wanted there to be like a super romantic ending, which I guess it's the one with the rose, but it's still sad. <laughs> but this was great. I had lots of fun. I already know which game I want to play uh, on the next stream. You will find out about it, and it involves a yandere. So, I'm super excited! <coughs> I forget, have you played uh, Titan Atom? I have not! Even the music in this game was super good. <laughs> but there was there weren't really lots of um 
jump scares. Which I am grateful about, but I want to be more scared. Is short a good spooky month game too? Ooh, I'll check it out. Oh yeah, if you have any recommend recommendations, please, please tell me. Oh wow, this looks good actually. I don't know why, but it feels familiar for some reason, but I'm fairly sure I have not played it. Hmm, I wonder. We'll see. Holmes embraces too. Nice. So many good titles. Um. Oh, this looks interesting. Looks scary. They made Titan Iron in only 10 days. It's amazing for that. Oh, wow. Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. The, art also, the artist also worked on some other games. Went out recently. So, Oh, yeah. That might be. That might be why. Like for Kindle to eat a canary. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's go. I got Halloween-themed visual novels to play this month. Let's go. I have chosen some as well. And I'm excited to share them with you. Eventually. <laughs> yes, spooky atomas are so, so, so much fun. That's why I'm so happy that they decided to release uh, Nine Rip in October. Bloody painter. Uh, how much would you rate this game? Over five stars, I would probably give it a solid three. I'm so happy for when the uh, collector edition for Nine Rip gets here, but I bet my dad will try to hijack the fan. Really? <laughs> That's funny. I swear they are apping their game with the limited editions. I am so so excited to get it. Let me close this stuff. Alright, you guys. I had so much fun today. I am definitely gonna try and stream again this week, but I will let you know on my socials. Because today, what, what day is today? I am Tuesday, right? <laughs> yeah, I might be able to go live again this week. When you go live. I'll try really, really hard to go live again this week. But I'll know for certain the day off. <laughs> Obviously. So I will keep you guys posted. Um, and I, But I'm really, really excited to play the game that I have planned next. So... I will do my very, very best. So, thank you so much for staying with me today. I appreciate every single one of you. And now I'm gonna go and play Nine Rip for a while. <laughs> and then I'll probably fall asleep while playing. <laughs> As that is this life of an Otome gamer. <laughs> 
so oh seriously you're Italian too see <laughs> anche io sono italiana <laughs> oh my god that is amazing I'm always so 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 happy <laughs> to meet more Italian otome gamers ah that makes me so happy Fantastico, allora ti parlerò italiano la prossima volta. <ride> Grazie mille. Um. Gra uh, thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. Bye bye.